Mr. Stevenson assigned us a project which we had to find the volume of three shapes, a cylinder, a cone, and a sphere. We, we have less than a week to finish this assignment, and so we'll, we'll try to get the rest. Volume formulas are when you can find how, how much space is inside an object. You can find it by having a cone, sphere, and, and, and a cylinder, and finding the area inside of those are three shapes. The formula for a sphere is V equals L times W times H, and the formula of, of a cone is V plus one third times three point one point one four times H. And the formula for the, for the cylinder is 3.14 times the, the radius squared times the height uh, of the cylinder. To calculate the volume of these, these shapes, we need to multiply the length times the width times the height. For example, Mr. Stevenson gave us a cylinder that has a diameter of 8 and a height of 6. Since the equation is pi times the radius squared the height of the cylinder, the equation will be 3.14 times 4 squared times 6, which would be 301.4. For the cone, you would for the cone, you would multiply the same things and you would get 209.3. That would for, for the sphere, you would do the same as the last two, so the radius would, would equal 904.32. This assignment had a cone, sphere, cylinder, and a cone is a shape that has a white circular base and gets small to the, till it meets together. The next shape is a sphere, or a ball, or a water polo ball. The last and final shape is a cylinder. A cylinder is a can-like shape that has two circular ends, like a soup can. I will conclude our assignment. For this group project, Mr. Stevenson assigned us a totally different thing. We had to compare and contrast the volumes of three shapes. We we found the volume by using each shape's equation, like like volume equals length times width times height for a sphere, and so on. Thank you for watching.